Have you guys ever wondered how much money your favorite YouTuber could be making on YouTube? Well, this is a video for you because I reveal it all. Well, sort of. So this is the top 10 highest paid YouTubers of 2016. And also a quick disclaimer, it's really hard to actually get the precise numbers to what these people are making because there's a lot of factors into these numbers. The numbers I'm gonna share with you guys are basically what people are making on YouTube. And this is outside of their advertisement deals that they might be getting from sponsors and potential earnings off of YouTube. So this is mostly money that they have made earned from Google AdSense. And also this is on only the single channels that the person owns because for example, a lot of YouTubers have multiple channels and it's hard to tell sometimes which channels are theirs. So a lot of these earnings are confirmed in the mainstream media like Forbes, Vanity, Independent.co.uk, and so on. So starting off this list, like we always do, at number 10 is Rosanna Pansino, making $2.5 million a year. Rosanna is a YouTuber who has been around since 2010, and she makes things on her channel. Recently, she has done a Pokemon ice cream cones, a DIY watermelon treats, and hedgehog cream puffs. Right now she has made around 1.5 billion views on YouTube with over 6.5 million subscribers and she's quickly growing. Rosanna gains about 250,000 subscribers monthly and about 62 million views a month. At number 9 is the good guy Roman Atwood and he's making a reported $2.5 million a year. Roman is known as one of the biggest YouTube pranksters here on YouTube. He's appeared in a movie called Natural Born Pranksters that came out April 1st and yes it wasn't a prank, it actually came out. Roman has almost 10 million subscribers on his main channel, Roman Atwood has over 1.3 billion views. Roman Atwood Vlogs has 8 million subscribers and he has 1 billion views. He is just killing it on and off of YouTube. A huge congrats to him. All of his channels are just blowing up. Number 8 is Superwoman aka Lily Singh. She's making around 2.5 million dollars a year and is quickly growing. What she's going to be making next year is probably going to be significantly more. I remember watching her growing from like 500,000 subscribers to now one of the most popular people here on YouTube. Superwoman has turned into a mainstream celebrity being best friends with Dwayne Johnson aka my buddy The Rock and Selena Gomez. She appeared on the red carpet many times with Hollywood's biggest stars. Superwoman has over 1.3 billion views on YouTube and is closing in on that diamond play button on YouTube and you get that for hitting 10 million subscribers. That's something only a limited amount of people have done. In Canada she's going to become just the third person to do that behind Vandals Gaming and Watch Mojo. At number 7 is Michelle Fan, who makes 3 million dollars a year here on YouTube. She makes a whole lot more off of it too. Michelle is someone who we never really know how much she actually makes because she has her own company off of YouTube and that company is called Ipsy. In 2015 Michelle grew her $100 million company to over $500 million so how much of that she pockets nobody but her really knows. Michelle has also been nominated many times in Teen Choice Awards and Shorty Awards. She's won two of them, one for Inspiration Icon Award and another for Shorty Award for Best YouTube Guru. Number 6 we have KSI who banks in 4.5 million dollars a year. He has been around since 2009. I recently started watching him and he has over 2.7 billion views and almost 15 million subscribers which is remarkable. He does a lot of comedy skits. He gains about almost half a million subscribers monthly and 100 million views monthly which is insane. His most viewed video is called KSI Lamborghini Explicit featuring pay money that has over 44 million views. Our Rhett McLaughlin and Charles Lincoln Neal the third aka Rhett and Link who that's just so much easier to say. They come into this list at number five. They make about four 4.5 million dollars a year. These guys are one of the first YouTubers ever. They created their channel back in 2006, only a year after YouTube came out. They have over 640 million views with 4.1 million subscribers. The best friends do a lot of comedy skit videos and actually on their main channel Rhett and Link, they have stopped producing on there about 8 months ago and that's because they have another giant mega channel and that channel is called Good Mythical Morning. That channel blew up and that's where their big earnings come from. They have over 10 million subscribers over there and over 2.5 billion views. Number 4 is Lindsay Sterling who makes a whopping six million dollars a year. Lindsay has been on YouTube since 2007 and has actually taken her talents into the more mainstream media. She is an American violinist, dancer, performance artist, singer, and composer. Lindsay now produces albums. Her debut album was a commercial success in Europe, selling 200,000 copies in Germany. She won a platinum certification as well and she was nominated for the 2014 Billboard Music Awards for top dance slash electronic albums. Her second album actually won the 2015 Billboard's Music Awards for the top dance slash electric albums. Number three is Benny and Raffi Fine, aka the Fine Brothers. They make about $8.5 million a year or $4.25 million each. They recently almost lost all their fame due to a career mistake that they did not too long ago. They wanted to own this word, react. Meaning anyone who does reaction videos, money would go to them because 
they conned the word. They wanted, they tried to, but failed. This upset a lot of fans. Tens of thousands of people started to unsubscribe. The Fine Brothers has over 14 million subscribers with over 4.3 billion views at the time of this recording, but they have multiple channels that brings in a ton of money as well. Another big channel is called React that has over 6.3 million subscribers and also over 1.1 billion views. Number two is Ian Hecox and Anthony Bedella, aka Smosh, and they reportedly make about $8.5 million a year. Smosh is a channel I grew up watching for at least 10 years. They started their YouTube channel only nine months after YouTube became a thing. They have over 22 million subscribers and almost 6 billion views. The video that really got them on the map was their Pokemon parody video. That was actually taken down due to copyright by Pokemon themselves. They came after them. But since then, they made another parody video to make fun of that parody video, and that video went viral again. The most viewed video right now on their channel is called Beef and Go. It has over 100 million views. Check it out. Okay, before we get into number one, just wanted to share some notable names that are not on this list for a few reasons. These reasons could be because their income hasn't leaked onto the internet yet, so we don't actually know what they're making. Some YouTubers have grown so fast, they haven't actually gone through like a calendar year of successfulness. So maybe we'll be adding them onto an updated list, a 2017 list. So some of these YouTubers are like Markiplier, who has over 5.1 billion views. He's raised over $1 million for charity, which is remarkable, but also shows you he's got a lot of money as well. The Diamond Minecart has over 7.5 billion views. Watch Mojo, I'm sure, should be on this list as well, but we just don't know what they make. Number one on this list is Felix Kielberg, aka PewDiePie. His annual salary was reported $12 million a year, and he has almost 50 million subscribers. He is YouTube's king. He has the most subscribers and the most viewed videos on here with 12.6 billion views. He has more views than celebrities' Vivo accounts like Justin Bieber Vivo, Rihanna Vivo, Taylor Swift Vivo even. PewDiePie gets over 10 million views a day, which is over 300 million monthly views. Also, he gets 1 million subscribers a month, which is totally insane. He will be hitting that 50 million subscriber mark very soon. And when he hits it, he needs to be rewarded the Pink Star Diamond, which is one of the world's most expensive diamonds. It's worth $1.3 million per carat, and he should have like 100 carats. That's like billions of dollars, I'm pretty sure. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was a whole lot of fun. It was a whole lot of learning. And maybe we'll do an updated list very, very soon. Let me know who should have been on this list in the comment section below or what you predict they make as well. I'll read your guys' comments. I'll see you guys very, very soon in a new Most Amazing Top 10 video. Well, what the? What the heck? Where's the video? Oh, hey guys. You guys should watch my previous video, which is over here. Over here. You guys can watch this video. Just click on it. It's annotated. And then the other video that we've done in the past is right over here. You guys can actually click on that. And, oh yeah. Don't forget to subscribe as well. You guys can go right down here. Or you guys you guys can do it a few times, I think. Just, just hit it over here. Subscribe. Okay, that's it for me, guys. I don't know what's going on here, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, yeah.